Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. A hearty welcome to the Eucharist on this feast of St. Michael, and of course St. Gabriel and Raphael. Uh, there are lots of churches of St. Michael. I myself uh, am a parishioner of St. Michael's Church Mahim. I was a parishioner there. My parents were of another parish, also St. Michael. So lots of connection with St. Michael. Happy feast to all the parishioners and happy feast to all the Michaels, all the Gabriels and all the Raphaels. And there are also sisters Michael, sister Gabriel, sister Raphael. Happy feast to you too. Uh, today is Wednesday. We have intentions over here. Uh, Thanksgiving, nine. Favors received, protecting my family. Daughter got a visa for U.S., Neighbor got a job, a U.S. A visa for a cruise. Uh, my blessings on my family and me, mighty blessings. Reach, healing my sister Pinto from cancer in Goa. Uh, for my for th jobs, favors that blessings see my family and me. Catherine cleared UPSC civil exams. All India rank one five seven. Showering blessings on our family. Thank we thank and praise God for these petitions. Repose of my of souls. There are twenty one over here: Father Julius, Mother Magdalene, Fonseca, Kinney, souls in purgatory. My dad, Alwyn, Mother Disa, my father, Joachim Dias. Twenty first of July, twenty twenty one. Conrad Lobo, sixteenth September two twenty twenty one. Death anniversary on the twelfth September. My mother in law, Rego. 83rd Heavenly Birthday, 25th September. My mother, Colasso, 8 years ago, 26th September, her birthday. Almeida, Miss Almeida, 15th year anniversary on 26th September. My father's death anniversary, 26th September. My father, Crasto, celebrated 93rd birthday on 27th September. 7th anniversary of D'Souza, 27th September. Soul of James Philip D'Souza, 27th death anniversary. 27th of September. My uncle Herman, six months by in mass, 27th September. Months by in mass of my mother, Das, but passed for 28th August. Intention of death anniversary, Pinto, Helena, 26th September, 28th September. My grandmother, Louisa Lazarus, 10th death anniversary, 28th. My wife, passed away 29th September, 2017, in the Elphinstone Railway Station Stampede, we remember that. Uh, my father-in-law, Dias, passed away 20 years ago, 13, 23rd of September. For good health and blessings, 158 requests from Mr. Sequera, good health of Pope Francis, good health of our Cardinal Gracious, thank you. Breastfeeding mother of clean report for ultrasound, mas suspected mastitis, Complete cure of cancer, stomach of a young mother. Complete healing of our neighbor, Alan, I sued you to COVID. His daughter Desiree, also quarantined. For Disa and family in Toronto, 
June Fernandez Toronto leg swelling Hazel and Denzel Fernandez Toronto Sharon Disa good health to my family my uncle recover illness soon my father Steven suffering from cancer good job and studies my niece my husband my nephew employment my daughter good job jobless for 18 months my brother get his cruise ship call soon for marriage and family suitable catholic life partner to my son in singapore life partner to my son in usa daughter to be blessed with a good life partner peace and happiness within the family total healing of a relationship conversion of my husband my kids spiritual life in jesus be enriched kids find a suitable catholic god fearing partners and uh, prayers on occasion of birthdays anniversaries birthday blessing good health of mrs miss michelle de souza my sister 25th birthday 29th 25th september for michelle again uh, celebrating 55th birthday 26th september 80th birthday of my mother jetiar 25th september my daughter vanessa birthday 28th september my mom lobo 81st birthday 28th september parents 63rd wedding anniversary 29th september berkmans mom celebrates her 79th birthday we celebrate 25th anniversary on 29th september today congratulations of your silver jubilee and finally pr for canada my daughter waiting for a long time visiting visa my husband me and my daughter in law for canada house to be purchased for disa migration to come through to canada husband's visa issue resolved soon pray for all these intentions and our scouts blessings let's begin the mass now saying i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god the almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen today is a feast day so we have the gloria With the Holy Spirit in the 
Let us pray. O God, who disperse in marvelous order ministries, both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please sit for the reading. A reading from the book of Revelation. War arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven, and the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, in the presence of the angels, I praise you, O Lord. All together, in the presence of the angels, I praise you, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I praise you. I bow down towards your holy temple. Our response, in the presence of the angels, I praise you, O Lord. I give thanks to your name for your merciful love and your faithfulness. You have exalted your name over all. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased the strength of my soul. Our response, in the presence of the angels, I praise you, O Lord. All earth's kings shall thank you, O Lord, when they hear the word of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, how great is the glory of the Lord. Our response, in the presence of the angels, I praise you, O Lord. Kindly stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Bless the Lord, all his host, his servants who do his will. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know him? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under a fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. And Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. He said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, today is the feast of uh, the angel, archangels. Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Today we put them on one day 
uh, earlier they used to be on three separate days uh, Michael today it was it's the anniversary of a consecration of a church in Rome in the early centuries uh, uh, cathedral church to the angels then Gabriel was the one who uh, got the Annunciation so his feast was earlier on the day before the Annunciation 24th of March and uh, Raphael was put on the near St. Luke healing person 21st of October but now church has put all three archangels one on the 29th of September and uh, this brief homily I can't speak to you all about angels and archangels but uh, the three of, three of them had three distinct tasks uh, Michael then means who is like God and he is uh, traditionally thought of a person who really fought against uh, the, uh, the devil forces against uh, Christ he conquered uh, and we heard that in the first book of revelations how Michael and the angel are fighting against the dragon that whole incident referred to in the book of Re revelations the apocalypse uh, Michael is uh, traditionally prayed to in all difficult situations uh, we used to pray to him uh, some churches they still pray uh, it's optional uh, to St. Michael the Archangel after mass uh, for deliverance from evil there were several suggestions from people also why don't you start that uh, leave it. You, you're free to pray certainly to St. Michael the Archangel a powerful messenger of God uh, angel means messenger archangel chief messenger that's what Michael was and Gabriel uh, we hear heard of him on the book of St. Luke where he appears to Our Lady and says that she's going to be the mother of God so he is like uh, they say the strength of God he gives all important messages Gabriel he also is the one who told Zechariah that your son is going to you're going to get a son and, and he will be John the Baptist he foretold John the Baptist and uh, Zechariah did not believe and so Zechariah was punished and he was dumb for that time and Raphael is God heals now he's uh, in the book of Tobias he goes and tells Tobias I've been sent by God to heal you and your daughter-in-law and he heals him from his blindness this is really uh, that they're all messengers of God agents of God instruments of God loyal to God and fighting we pray to them to help us in a few days we'll celebrate the feast of our guardian angels October 2nd so we'll have a chance to talk about them again in a few days but we uh, pray to them uh, to help us also to be always be loyal to God to defend God and like Michael does uh, to bring God's good news to people as Gabriel does and to give healing to people solace to people as uh, the angel Archangel Raphael does um, Saint Michael Raphael and, uh, and Gabriel pray for us God bless you Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to goodness of this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased, receive the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my sins, cleanse me from my iniquity. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine May be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably, make them profitable for our salvation. We make the spread through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to Let the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. We right and just our duty and our salvation. 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. By their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty. We are united with them in exultant adoration. And with one voice of praise we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith savors savior of the world for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, your glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us be with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as await the blessed hope and coming our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are, are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, at your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, the goddess with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Self, the sign of peace, Christ peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May I send a little script in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. Have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow. And once again, Angels, Archangels, happy feast, and to each one of you, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, happy feast. Pray for each other. Stay safe. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses, and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing and honor and glory and power, wisdom and riches and strength evermore. Give we to.